What's up guys, Skinny Penis 4533 here and I want to ask you a very serious question despite a non-serious intro. How are you navigating your life? What's going on with it? How do you feel? How do you feel right now? Do you feel that you're doing the right thing? And I mean, this question used to make me guess, you know, you'd have to imagine all these like little things in your head and there'd be a bit of doubt in there, right? You'd be like, oh yeah, I'm doing the right thing. Oh yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing. Oh yeah, well, maybe, maybe. That's not a good sign. That's not the surefire sign that you expect it to be. You may feel like you're doing the right thing because you finally got that, you know, finally got the qualifications to go to college, even though you weren't really motivated to do it, but then you think, oh, well, no uni student is motivated. Why is that? You know, this question can annoy you and it can annoy me especially and I just want to talk about it today who is telling you to do what in your life I want you to analyze this from every single possible angle that you can are you doing the things in your life because you want to or because other people want you to do that for them do your parents want you to do a job that you don't want to do do your friends want you to do things that you don't want to do i.e peer pressuring with drugs etc or general peer pressure I suppose How many of your beliefs are influenced by yourself and your own knowledge and not the outside world? I mean, I say that, but let's be real. A lot of our beliefs aren't our own. We don't own our thoughts. Our thoughts are literally given to us by so much different sources of media, information, etc. Nothing's actually right in that sense. We can sometimes feel like there's a right way and a wrong way to live our life, but unless it provides detrimental health negatives unless it literally destroys your life and we see it firsthand then it's like nothing's really wrong or right and i'm probably one of the few people in this space that's open in the sense of i don't strictly think red pill i don't strictly think i'm not really formed by a strict rule set i believe you apply what works for you and what works for you alone but back to the main point do you feel that you are doing the best in your life that you can with the time that you've got are you living the path and the life that you want or is there that nagging feeling in your soul telling you oh crap well maybe i should be doing something else but you don't know if you should do that because maybe it's a little bit too risky you know maybe it's dangerous maybe it's the one thing that will ruin your life you know oh i can't do that because what if i'll get no money for it oh i'll have no money for a while let me tell you a story when i was in college i was doing art right and you know this is one of my posters on the wall. That's a drawing of Shakur Stevenson and I did some drawing recently as well. And I like drawing, don't get me wrong, but it was never what I wanted to do. I drew just to fill something within me, really. That's why I drew. I drew because everyone else tells me, oh, you're good at art, you should go and do something with art at school. Did something with art at school. Got okay grades because I didn't meet the fucking art standards, even though I always got told from everyone that art is subjective. You don't need to apply. Like... It's a lot of weird shit when they grade art, to be honest. It's literally the lecturer who decides that your art is good or not good. And it's like, you see what modern art's like, etc. But that's besides the point, right? I didn't know if I wanted to do art because I just liked doing it. But it seemed like everyone was trying to shove it in my face. So, you know, back in 2020, 2021, have you actually seen my earliest videos on this? I bought a bunch of pens, you know, the Copic markers, the fancy ones. I did a lot of drawings, I did a lot of commissions. And, you know, I thought that would make me happy. And even as I progressed further and further into that goal, I still wasn't happy. Like, yeah, it was fun to do, don't get me wrong, but like fulfilling to my core? No, not in the slightest. Boxing was more fulfilling to my core. Training with the boys and sparring and all that, that was more fulfilling to my core. That made me feel powerful. That made me feel at peace with my life. And then that got taken away from me in 2020. 2020, 2019-ish and I'm only recently coming back to it and I'm loving it just like I used to and then there's obviously this passion as well which I developed because when I got kicked out of college and my lecturer said oh yeah by the way you've hit your peak and was literally calling me a failure and every single time I say this story people think oh well we must be like oh you must be over exaggerating it from your personal bias you know your feelings towards it no he literally told me I was a failure and I had the worst work in the class that's not me being like personally involved that's just an objective fact he said that shit right which obviously i'm not gonna lie and act like i was the best student because i obviously wasn't but it did hurt 
it hurt because I was literally getting told once again in my life, yeah, you're not, you're not good enough. And then after that, I think it was a month after that as I started the YouTube channel, I started talking about my mental health, my struggles, everything I've went through and the pain that's been inflicted upon me and how I've learned from it and how I've grew and how I've advanced so much. And when I started that, every other thing in my life started to take place and take hold of itself. You know, my friendships got stronger. I started going out a bit more often and not in the negative way. You know, we'd go out and we'd go bowling or we'd go on walks and we'd do hill walks and shit like that, right? Positive activities, not just like going out drinking, etc. You know, my family life got closer. I spent more time with my family because I was off my phone less. You know, my knowledge grew. I felt so much smarter. And bro, who as a kid always got like assumed they were dumb and that was it, they were dumb. I was never like a dumb kid, but I, I told myself I was dumb. I probably could have got higher grades in school if I stopped associating myself with the identity of I was dumb, right? Like, oh yeah, you got Nat 4, which is like, let me explain it to you guys. Nat 4 and Nat 5 and higher is like the three big grades. I got a few hires. I think that was mostly in art and English, mostly Nat 5s, and I got a few Nat 4s, right? I'm just going to be honest. Not bad grades by any means, but nothing like super special, you know, and... Yeah, I was convinced I was a dumb kid. But no, now I feel like smart. And I'm not saying that to sound like super intelligent or, you know, toot my own horn or anything. But like, I feel like I'm smart and I know what I'm talking about. Whereas before, like especially in arguments, if you feel like you may not know entirely what you're talking about other than feelings of ego and, you know, just ego really and just like wanting to prove a point, then it's like, it's kind of pointless. And... It will also make you feel dumb if it falls apart. Where now it's like, okay, if I have an argument and I still, like, I'm not going to back down from it now because I know my beliefs and my structure. I know that's a bit of a side tangent, but oh, fuck, where's this video been going? <laughs> but it's true though. Your beliefs about yourself, like I said there with the whole believing I was dumb, etc., some of the most important stuff you can do. And I think if you don't analyze this and analyze who you are deep at your core, and you know, really take some time. To like get off your phone and have no distractions whatsoever and just stare at your ceiling for a little bit. Tell me where your thoughts go and tell me where they lie. Because the thing you obsess about the most is probably what you want the most in your life. But people may be telling you, oh, you shouldn't have that, you shouldn't have this because it's not good for you. Or, you know, it didn't work out for them, so maybe it won't work out for you, etc. That's not the point of life. The life is such a wide spectrum of love, emotion, adventures, journeys, families, dogs. She's just sleeping right now. Locations. It's such a wide spectrum of literally everything. And you can't be closed off to something just because one person told you this. Or because they haven't experienced that side of life. Or maybe they tried to but failed. Like It's such a small minded way to view the world. And also you've got one life. You have one life on this planet. Do you really want to live it doing what other people told you or do you want to take some action and be the person and the man you know you can be? I'll leave that with you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Maybe it made sense, maybe it didn't. Let me know. But see you in a bit, boys. Five likes and I'll rub my testicles on the screen. The coaching link in my bio, although I probably shouldn't have said that after that comment, but oh well. If you need advanced coaching or something specific in your life then just book a call with me see you in a bit boys forget that comment <laughs>